Hey everybody, welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek, thanks for joining us today. It's a nice evening here in North Fork Hollow. It's about 90 degrees, uh, at least it's not raining. It's a little warm, but at least it's not raining right now. Uh, so I'm getting a little late start getting out. Got home about 45 minutes ago. I had a couple things to do on the computer uh, with some other videos. Um, but mom and the kids aren't home right now. They're all swimming at a, a friend's house. Uh, what, what kids should be doing on a warm summer evening like this. So uh, it's just me here. So wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. There's a couple things that I could work on. Well, there's a lot of things I could work on, honestly. But what I decided to work on, uh, I'm going to go down here. Uh, video two ago, um, moved around some of the fuel tanks down on the lower landing, as I call it. And I got four barrels of off-road diesel. They're not totally full, but need to get those up into the one tank. Uh, get rid of those barrels. I, I'm done messing with barrels and, and cans and stuff like that. So I'm ready to get all my fuel into tanks uh, where I can dispense it a lot easier. I can call up a fuel company and just have them bring out 100 gallons uh, whenever, whenever it's convenient. So I need to get that fuel up into the tank. So I got a 12-volt pump here. Take the truck down so I can run it off that battery. Um, see if it'll, it'll pump it from the ground up into that tank. In the past, what I've done, I've used the backhoe, wrestled the barrels into the backhoe bucket, strapped them in, lifted them up, and uh, either siphon them in or use a pump up there. But I, I've, I think I've got enough hose that I can reach up there. So as long as the pump will pump it, I think we can get the, that fuel into the barrels. So um, let's go down here and see what we can get done. All right, so I'll show you a little bit what we got going on. So I've got these four barrels behind me. They've all throwed diesel in it. They need to get up into the tall heating oil tank, uh, the tallest one up there. So, should be able to fit it all in. I've got this 12 volt pump, just a cheap eBay or Amazon one. Um, runs off of 12 volts. Just took it up to a battery and it's got a switch on it. Um, so I ended up, had to, I didn't have a solid hose long enough. So I ended up using a hose mender to ho put them together, but it should be enough hose. I haven't tried it yet, but it should be enough to get it, get it up into the tank as long as it'll pump it. So we'll find out, so see if it'll do it. That's like the pump running. I'll have to go up and check to see if it's going in. So that little 12 volt pump isn't going to pump the fuel all the way up into that tank. So. I guess I'm going to have to go get the backhoe, get these barrels into the into the loader bucket and lift them up a little bit so I can get some, get a little less height, be able to get the, the fuel up into there. So let's go do that. So this is what I'm trying to get away from. I'm trying to get away from using barrels and putting it up into this tank with pumps and all of that. If I get all the fuel into these tanks, then I can call somebody, they can come and deliver me fuel, put it right into the tank from the truck, and I don't have to deal with all of this. I can just pull equipment down here, trucks, four-wheelers, whatever it is, and I can fill up right out of these tanks. So it should be a lot easier and get rid of all this hassle. So. All right, so I went and got another battery, just an extra battery. We're gonna hook that when 
I had it hooked to the truck battery. It must be some kind of capillary action that comes through the wire somehow and it ends up coming out the switch and it was dripping pretty good. So if I can hook it to this battery and eliminate that from happening, the dripping won't be better. But this is the whole thing I was trying to avoid was dealing with batteries and the barrels and the lift them up on the backhoe. So all right. I didn't check that battery before it came down, but should have enough charge to get through there, so hopefully that'll keep it from dripping and leaking out now. We'll be good. All right, sounds like the uh, barrel is almost empty. So we'll go ahead and switch these two barrels out. For the other two that I got here, and we'll get the rest of the fuel into the tank. All right, sounds like this one here is empty, so we're gonna switch over to the last barrel. All right, so this last barrel is almost done pumping up into the tank. Um, so I'm gonna try to get the last little bit out of the bottom with the pump, turn everything off and uh, get the barrels down and call it a night, so. All right, so that's it for today's video. So that was, uh, took a little longer than I expected because I had to go up and get the backhoe and it didn't, didn't work the way that I thought it would, but pump ended up working. It just didn't lift it quite as high as I needed it to. Um, it is a good little pump, probably only about nine or 10 bucks. If I find a link to where I bought it from, either eBay or Amazon, I'll put it in the description down below. Um, but I needed to get that done. So glad I could do that tonight. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.